Kate, come up here. Kate, um, I want you to look at all these people out here. Because like you, Kate, all of these people were born. OK, a few of them look like they were hatched. But they were born, trust me. And that is 0. And we're going to put you at 0, which is the beginning of life. But of course, we also have to talk about the end of life. So I need somebody to be my grim reaper. All right. And your name is? Tommy. Tommy. All right, Tommy, here's what I want you to take this tape measure. Now, we said today, for purposes of explanation, that everybody gets to live how long? 80 years. Okay, so every foot on this tape measure doesn't equal a foot. It actually equals? A year. Right? So this, for example, uh, right here wouldn't be 18 feet. This would be 18 years. Oh, Tommy's got it, right? <laughs> All right, so Tommy, we've got to find 80 feet. So your job, my friend, is to get to 80 feet on this tape measure. So keep rocking and rolling. Let's see what we do. Okay, go out there. Where are you right now, Tommy? Uh, 45 years. Yeah, I remember that birthday. Keep rocking. <laughs> Keep going. Where are you, Tommy? Right about now. 71 years. 71 years. No, I, I don't remember that birthday. Keep going. <laughs> So we're going to keep this tape measure tight. Now we got Kate at the beginning, right? And we got Tommy at the end. So we have 80 years. Am I correct? 80 years in your life. So for the first time ever, you get to jump outside the frame and see the picture that is your life. Do I have anyone in this audience that is going into their freshman year? Anybody that's going into their freshman year? Honestly, anybody, anybody right now going into their freshman year. Don't be shy. Anybody going into their freshman year? And your name is? Justin. Justin. That's fantastic. You're just in time. <laughs> All right, Justin, now, I want you to remember, you're going into your freshman year, right? Yeah. How old are you? I was 14. 14. So I want you to do, Justin, I want you to take your right hand, I want you to put on this tape measure right here, and I want you to find the red 14 on this tape measure, okay? Keep going until you find the red 14. Okay, there we are, red 14. I can spot freshmen. I mean, that's my, that's my superpower. I can always spot the freshmen. Freshmen look like an Amish person at Best Buy. <laughs> because they were so cool last year. And then they come into high school and it's like, ah, oh, where are my seniors? Where are my seniors? Seniors, 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 seniors. Oh, there we got it up there. Okay, David, come on up. <laughs> Here's what I want you to do, David. I want you to take your left hand and I want you to find the red 18 on this tape measure. You doing okay out there, Tommy? I forgot you, bro. We're with you. Okay, you got your left hand underneath. We're going to do the underneath grab right there. OK, now I want you to look at this right here, because this time right here represents the time you have in high school. If you see the beginning where Kate is, and you look at Tommy way out there, pull it tight, Tommy. Pull, there you go. You see right here the time that you are in, which here, which is called high school. High school, 14 to 18. It's in that, if you're in Colorado, you're in Mississippi, it's maybe 23, OK? But we're going to say 14, 18. Right? So this is high school, and, and the problem is that we, we're getting this dropout rate because so many kids are dropping out. The rates are, it's crazy. We have people drop out in this four years because you know what? They're looking at it, it seems like a long time because they're looking at it this way, down here, instead of stepping out and seeing it's not that long. And you know what? It's really not even this long. It's actually shorter than this. Because this would mean four times 365 days. Are you in school 365 days a year? No. You subtract out summers, vacations, holidays. How long is the average school year? How many days? 108. You take four times 180, what do you come up with? That's right, David, 720. <laughs> Dude's a genius. 720 days. Take your, your left hand one foot one inch. I want you to take your right hand one foot one inch. Right here, 720 days. Now you got 720 days, ladies and gentlemen. 720 days right here. How long is that? That's if you're in school every single minute of every single day, but you're not. Think about the typical day, about what percentage? Would you say is a fair percentage of a 24-hour day that you're actually in on or around school? Eight hours, fair enough? That'd be about a third, and so if you take 720 days and you divide it by three, how much do you come up with? That's right, 240, amazing. 240 days, I want you to move your hand in right about here. I want you to move your hand in right here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is 7.9 inches. 
7.9 inches, which is the entire high school experience if you go to every single day of high school. 7.9 inches in a full 80-year tape measure. And yet this is the most important 7.9 inches you will ever have in your life because everything you do between where David's hand is right here at 18 and where Tommy is way out there will be directly related to what you did in this 7.9 inches. And if you think I'm just running off, talk to your parents. Talk to anybody that's been through it. This is so important because what you do here determines everything that happens to you for the rest of your life. Doesn't mean that you can't overcome certain things, but it's rare to find an adult that wouldn't want to go back and try this experiment again. Try this experience again. The problem is this is a one-way street. I don't care how rich you are, you will never be able to stop and go back because all we do is get older, and that's a fact. So the question is, what are you going to do right now in the prime of your life going into the last two years of high school? Right in the middle. What have you learned and what are you going to do to make this 7.9 inches the greatest experience of your life? So when you launch here at 18, your future is unlimited. What are you going to do? Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road Time grabs you by the wrist, directs you where to go